welcome to our broadcast this morning in the grand ecosystem stay tuned as we present the happening right now in the grand community to you the information reaching us is that the official spokesperson of uaag grand comrade ocg has resigned from being the official spokesperson of uaag grand reason being that according to him that he has suffered injustice and then people are threatening his life and therefore he has to resign from being the official spokesperson of uaag grant a lot is going on in the grant ecosystem stay tuned as we present this uh, mr comrade ab coming out to uh, blow hot to that woman that is planning to take apostle king uh, to uh, justice at the verge of disbursement he uh, blow hearts to this very woman that uh, we are in the disbursement time that there's no point taking him to where he is she is planning to pay attention to this man coming out to address the issue as we will come your way next time to present what is currently going on in the grants ecosystem subscribe to you our channel as we are ready to update you on the situation pay attention to comrade ab good evening grant community i greet every one of you today today is friday the 21st day of this very month of jubilation for the needy the month of june in this year 2024 uh, once again i'm coming your way my name is mr ab i'm coming very briefly to say something concerning the voice note i listened to uh today uh i would have come up earlier than now but i went somewhere and i just came back and then i decided to to say some few things uh please grant community subscribers of uaag through qas grant I'm talking to every one of you, every one of us at this moment. Uh, like I told you last time, concerning the one, this useless woman that is parading herself like a prostitute, going about. The other time she was making noise, she wants to report Apostle Ken to EFCC. Uh, and uh, when she goes to the US EFCC, that the apostle ken should come and answer her and uh, all sort of rubbish she vomited i came up and i made voice note where i replied her that if she goes to ufc efcc because she was busy collecting proof of payment though she did not collect much but her pay masters her slave masters masters that would and the co our grand pressure group they were the people that has been engineering her to do all that she is doing and then when i came up and uh, told the grand community that everybody should be warming up to release all the all the proof of payment which we which which contained the money we paid to our grand pressure group to their executive members in expectation for their palliative which they promised us and then even the proof of payment of uh, the support we gave to them in the past and then within a period a short while we couldn't hear from her again now she came up today and then because her paymasters her slave masters has advised her to forget about the issue of uh, proof of payment going to EFCC because they have already known that if they dare and go to EFCC the case will turn against them because they have collected millions of naira from the masses who registered their angels and cooperatives with them in expectation for their grant for their palliative even when they don't have any grant even when our grand pressure group have no grant 
have no palliative anywhere. The government did not give them anything and they have just collected people's money for nothing. And then she now diverted, they have advised her to divert the attention to human rights uh, office. Please, you people should not mind that useless woman, that useless person of a woman. Don't mind her. Remember I told you people that time that the same way she came and was making noise, that is the same way she will, everything concerning her will just die down because in a short while from now, you will stop hearing from her, she will shut up because she has no monopoly of what she is venturing into. Do you understand? Therefore, she is just making that noise, not of her own, but because her slave masters, masters Daoud, and because this thing is a brainchild of uh, Ostas Daoud. Because I remember when this woman started, Ostas Daoud was praising her. He made a write up where he was praising her, you know, telling people to allow her to do whatever she wants to do. I came across that right up, and uh, yeah, I'll find that right up. It's still in my phone, and I'll get it. And therefore, I want two people to know that there is nothing she can do. But what I want to, the point I want to make today here, is that everybody should get ready. If this woman goes to that place, and uh, though she has no power to stop the disbursement because even the human rights is also a non-governmental ngo a non-governmental a non-governmental organization they are not the government but if anything goes wrong god forbid but if anything goes wrong that the disbursement delays any further please everybody should go for this woman anywhere you see her Collect your disbursement from her. Anywhere you see this woman, look for her and collect your money. Collect your disbursement. Collect your grant from her. Because she is the person that is now parading herself around to stop the disbursement. She is the one that all grand pressure group are using stylishly, indirectly, and also, and also directly to continue to delay the manifestation of the disbursement. Why? Because all grand pressure group have collected people's money, including my own money. They have collected people's money, having told us that they have palliative to give to us, but they don't have anything for anybody. That is why they are doing everything possible to see if they can continue to hinder and frustrate the disbursement or even delay it so that they will still have breathing space at least to to parade themselves around and see if they can succeed and be included in the system again but they cannot be included because their names has never been there nothing concerns them you see our people say that whom the gods want to kill, he makes that person mad. So the devil, their master, the devil, just possessed them with spirit of pride and arrogance. And then they manifested it in this way and manner that they have done. And then God decided to put them to shame and disgrace them openly. Just watch out. Shortly from now, you will understand what I'm talking about except otherwise except the authority decides to alleviate them or to just alleviate them from this shame and disgrace that is coming upon them and therefore my people let nobody let nobody worry him or herself do not worry yourself that woman will go home in shame 
she will go home in disgrace. I even, you know, I, I even wonder the audacity she have, you know, saying uh, our own apostle should show her the document. What a foolish and useless woman looking for a document that the grant, a document containing the grant that the UAG wants to disburse, that Apostle Ken wants to disburse. What a useless, fully useless and foolish woman. Look at her. Look at the audacity she has to demand for documents. We did not demand documents from Mama Supreme. We did not demand documents from uh, from Theobat. We did not demand for documents from uh, Commonwealth. We did not demand documents from Osea. We did not demand for documents from uh, Golden Bridge. We did not demand for documents from other fake fake grants that has come and gone bema davis and uh, name them so many of them that we have all lavished our money on and now this one that god wants to god wants to use to calm our nerves and bless the society she's coming to hinder it you cannot hinder it but rather you want to disgrace yourself you want you want just to dis disgrace yourself that is the only thing i know and that's the only thing i am seeing already happening to you therefore grand community my people the subscribers of uaag stroke uas grant let everybody calm down don't kill yourself because of this useless woman don't kill yourself don't hurt yourself allow her to brandish her foolishness and shortly she will you won't hear from her again because shame will push her inside and she will go and rest and uh, her slave masters the all grand pressure group they are silent now trying to use her you know to achieve their aim but it is late very very late and that very uh uh, system they are trying to use now is already dead on arrival so there is nothing they can do about it again our grand pressure group if i were you people i would just go and quietly look for go and source for grant now or if you say it is palliative go and source for the palliative right now so that people will not come for you when the time comes or go and cook lie because you people are expert in lying. When on starts down, he's talking. He will be talking as if he's a truthful person, and he will be, he will be wrapping it up with calling Allah, 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 as if to say Allah is no longer the Almighty God. The Islamic people call God Allah, and then every time he will be playing with that name, playing with the name of the Almighty God, when he is lying and telling people rubbish. And people will believe him now the whole thing has exposed has been exposed now there is no way they can there is no place for hiding anymore the only play the only thing is for you people to get the palliative get it ready so that when disbursement starts you give us our palliatives we paid for it and you must give it to us if you are not ready to give us the palliatives go and cook lies that you are going to tell the people when the time comes because anytime you lie people will believe so cook another lie another heavy lie you cook another heavy lie that you will lie to the masses so that when the time comes when you br when you brandish that lie when you just give that lie to the community people will believe but make sure you don't use a stars that would to tell that lie make sure you don't use the true Ibo a flame foods or if we were and the other um elise make sure you don't use these people to tell lies because nobody ever will believe them again look for another person that you people use to tell that lies 
so that uh, people will believe you that you have spoken but i can tell you that you people the game is over the game is over there's nothing you can do about it the game is over so i believe what you need to do now is to repent repent and make peace make peace make peace with yourself and make peace with the almighty god and then make, make peace with UAH management, especially Apostle Ken, that you have so much offended out of your greed and wickedness. That's all I have to say at the moment. So, my people, do not allow the, anything that concerns this woman to disturb your peace or disturb your mind. Don't at all. Don't. 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 Do not allow anything that this woman has said in her voice note in the, her voice note today mm. to disturb your peace or disturb your mind at all do not let that happen just allow her to be and uh, i can assure you that shortly from now you will hear from her again because shame will chase her inside and she will not come back to talk again because shame will cover her face i want you to remember the word i have always said in the past i have always told you people in this grand community that evil can never rule over the good it is not possible for evil to rule over the good it is never going to happen it has never happened and it cannot happen now remember this very UAAG stroke UAS project is God's orchestrated mandate. God has already ordained it that He will use this project, this grant, to bless His people, to turn away people's uh, 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 poverty away from them. And therefore, the time has come no man no woman can stop it even if you try your best and the, and god allows you to succeed to delay it you cannot stop it you can only delay it but certainly it will come but at the point where we are now nobody can delay it anymore if it delays again i say look for this woman and collect your grant from her that is it but i know that there is nothing she can do about it even if our great apostle goes there, he will still come back a victorious man. He will come back and the shame will cover that woman's face. That is all I have for you at this moment. But know it, that she is not doing anything like this of her own. It has been all Grand Pressure Group that has been sending her. They started with collection of proof of payment. And when we came out, to tell everybody to get ready with your proof of payment. They now went in and discussed and re-strategized re and now came up with this one that they are going to human rights. Human rights. Can you imagine? Human rights. Human rights. Anyway, let nobody worry yourself. Uh, so far, it's human rights. Nothing spoiled. And they cannot stop what God has already ordained. May God bless every one of you as we are expecting the manifestation of this big blessing that God has prepared for us. May God bless you and bless everyone and uh, give us this thing as quickly as possible as we have already known that it is coming shortly from now by the mercy and grace of God. May God bless you. As I, I'll come again to you in a subsequent uh, time to give you what you would like to hear. May God bless you.